Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully get all the term multi images data and also I successfully load on the data table, right? Now friend, in this video, I want to do, I want to edit it. So if you want to edit some of the images, how can do this work in this video? I will show you that things with this live example. Let's do that work for doing this. That is one of the two of this action. One is the edit and that is the delete, right? I have already created two of this. Like you can see, that is our edit and that will be our delete. For the edit, I want to do, I want to create another route for this. I simply loaded that route. That will be the route. And I just put that route name. What of the name actually choose right now? I name it as edit. Edit multi. Okay, multi image edit multi image and also we have to do we have to pass our id right if you go to our database for a specific that image that have one of the id for another image that is our another id right we have to update it with a specific some of the id for the reasons i have already get all the data i have already get all the data from our multi images so into the multi images i have already access our multi images right and now i want to do to also access our id so that is one of the id i want to do to pass it so that will be i have already get everything in our for each loop and with this for each loop that is all multi images i take it with the item right now we have to do we have to pass it after that okay after that i want to pass our item and with this item i want to access our field as an id okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you so now if you want to create it now go to our web route i want to create another route i simply copy it and then i paste it so that will be another get method and then here i name it as edit multi image and also after that they have one of the id right so now i want to do to access it if you want to access then that will be as a edit multi image i make it as edit multi image i want to create another method as edit multi image okay and also after that here we have to pass one of the id i simply name it as a id now if you click as a save all okay click as a save all and now if you go to our page here now if you refresh it now if you put your cursor now you can see it's now display as a multi that is edit multi image one id that is a two id three id and then the four id right perfect we get that our specific image id by id i want to do i want to update if you want to do this work right now i have already passed that id i have created one of the method as edit multi images now we have to create this method in our about controller now go to our about controller here after that after that i name it as a public and then function and our method name will be as edit image i simply loaded our method okay and then that will be our and method better i make it as a and method and from here i pass one of the id right we have to do we have to pass that parameter in here i simply pass that parameter as a id perfect so now i want to get all the data from our multi image that is our model name with this model we want to do to get it for the reasons first of all i want to take one of the variable as all multi image whatever the name actually choose and now our with our multi image okay with our multi image i want to do to find it so you can use it by the another command as a, as i told you before as a find or fail right that is our find or fail and in this find or fail area here we have to do we have to pass our that is the requested id i simply pass that requested id when that will be get our id i want to do on to return it with one of the view page then that will be the return view how much is it is you can see when you understand that step by step all that process is very easy so that is our admin folder into this admin folder i have already created as a about page so that was about page and into this about page now i want to create another um, file as edit okay edit underscore multi multi underscore image this type of and then our specific id data i have already get it with the compact method i want to do and to pass it so now here i want to do and to pass it by the name as a all multi image that will be not all multi image i want to make it as a only multi image okay i make it as a multi image perfect now i want to do and to pass it in our here that will be as a multi image i pass it in our edit multi image only we have to now display the value so now if you click as a save all and now i want to do and to create our edit multi image in our about page now click as a new file click as a save as and name it as a edit multi image dot blade dot php so this page will be just like our app page right if you go to our about and then the multi image here 
because it will be just like our multi image from here i have already stored that multi image i copy it i copy everything from here right now we don't need this if you go to our um, edit multi image here i paste it okay i simply paste it right now everything will be just like that same here we don't need to pass that multiple one because i want to update only one image in here and also we don't need to pass our empty array perfect so now that will be as a multi image and type um, as a file tab id everything will be just like that same so right now i have already one of the image right okay, so if you want to now display it if you want to display it you can display it that is our src or into this src area i have already get our specific one id data take the things with this variable as a multi image i pass it in our edit multi image now in here we can actually display it with the asset asset and then our name her name i name it as a multi image with this multi image now i want to access our field name that will be on the dollar sign because that is on the variable and then our field name our field name as a multi underscore image right i want to use it as a multi multi underscore image perfect now our image should be display in here and also i want to make it as update update multi image because from here i want to update it mm, perfect okay make it as an update update multi image now first of all to check it click as a save all now if you go okay now if you go click as a refresh now that should be updated now if you click as edit hmm, you can see there is a four id specifically is now visible which is totally fine okay because i have already get a specific id data is successfully display in here now i want to do on to update okay i want to update so if you want to update it also we have to pass our specific id right that is one of the requested id i want to i have already get it if you go i have already get that our requested id so now we have to also pass that id uh, better i want to you can pass it in or out area as i told you before rather than you can also pass by the input field i want to do to use on the hidden input field that will be the input type will be as a hidden and I name it as an ID and here I want to do to pass it the value or value will be which one that will be I have already get all the data all the data by our multi image so now with this multi image I want to access our field name as an ID field okay that is our requested ID field it means if you make it as a text okay I make it as a text now if you click as a save all that is actually on the hidden ID I show you like that is actually ID now if you refresh it you can see now that is actually display one id and if you go back again if you go back as the all multi image right now that is our another id if you click as the edit now you can see there is our two id right so that is our another two id that is a, that is actually our requested id from here i pass it by the hidden field so now i want to again make it as a hidden okay hidden so that was a hidden field id now we have to also create another route for this i want to make it another one as update update multi image which is totally fine multi platform data will be needed that will be on the post method now we have to create it now we go to our web into this web i copy it okay better i copy it and then after that i paste it so that will be our name our name i name it as a here Mm, that is an update multi image i copy it so then that will be as a update multi image or url i name it as update multi image that will be as update multi image okay that will be the update multi image so this type of one of the method now i want to create in our about controller now go to our about controller here after this i name it as a public sorry that will be as a public and then function and then our method name will be as a update multi image and that will be one of the obviously post method right so that will be one of the post method i make it as a post mm, perfect because here i have already updated that method will be as a post method so when you pass that as a post method as i told you before also you have to do you have to pass which things you have to pass that our request and then the dollar request because we have to get that our requested data right i simply get pass that request and then uh, that will be our end method rest of this procedure will be just like that same before okay when you i have already upload some of the images uh, in our another controller better rather than i to check it mm, here i didn't update you can see i have also updated the things that will be same you can see that for the update about i have already updated one of the images right so friend that will be just like that same better i want to do 
that is our id will be needed or if condition is started um, that is our if condition is ended in here so now i simply copy everything okay copy total things from to this area from our update about and now on to done to update it so that will be our update multi image i paste it so i have already discussed every part with you i hope it's very much clear to you right now so that is our end if condition you can see that is actually selected that means that it is started from here that is ended and that is our end method great so here i want to do um, that is our update about id so i make it as a multi image multi image okay multi underscore image id multi image id will be our requested id requested id means here i have already passed one of the id name as a id right so from here i get that as a multi image id which is totally fine and now that is our requested file name requested file name i name it as a multi image now that will be obviously as a multi image if they have an image it will be created on the hexadecimal id get extension our resize resize will be the same in our insert i have already added that our resize will be as a two two zero and also on to update in our multi image area so that will be as a two two zero so I make it as a 220, it will be saved in our upload or folder I have already created for insert. You can see that is a multi, right? So here that will be inserted. I want to turn to insert it in our multi. This will be saved into the multi. Perfect. So right now only one field will be enough. I simply remove it, everything, and now our field name and also our model will be updated. Our model will be which one our model will be as a multi image you can see there is a field name as a multi image so now first of all i want to update that our model okay that is our model so now that is our model okay into this model with the find or fail method or id requested id i have already taken it as a multi image id so that will be our multi image id okay and then it will be update method update our field name our field name will be which one our field name as a multi image Okay, friends. So if you understand it, rest of this course will be very easy. Simple things. I have already discussed about every part with you. So now that will be saved in our save URL, upload, multi. Everything is same. Okay. And then that will be displayed the notification. Notification will be as a about page. Not that about page. It will be updated our image, right? I make it as a multi. Okay, multi image updated. Updated successfully. Our alert type will be as a success and it will be returned redirect on the back page. I have already created one of the list page, right? Here I have already created all that list page. For the list page, our URL, our route will be as all multi image. I want to, to pass it in here, not that back page. So that I make it as a route. Okay, route and route will be our all image. And also when that will be inserted, this data, I also want to do to pass it before i pass that to the back end you can see when that will be stored this data then it will be written redirect to the route okay route so the route i want to do to pass it in our all multi image space great great because i have already created that route you can see that is all multi images i have created that method name as all multi image so when you go to that our all multi image um that is our all you can see that is all multi image in our admin in our about page i have already created our all multi image right and then that will be redacted to particular that page great great friend that's all you have to do okay that's all you have to do now let's check this out if you click as a save all i have already discussed about that insert part so that is our insert part that is our edit part right so that is our edit part and that is our update part so it's pretty much simple in our next video i will discuss about the delete then our total code application with the images will be very much clear to you now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go now to refresh it okay now i want to update our image like here i choose another one I'm better in my desktop okay into this desktop from the desktop i want to choose another one like i choose this one now click as update multi image hmm you can see there is a multi image successfully updated right a specific this id data is updated if you want to update that one simply choose it i want to choose another image like here right now i choose this one now click as update multi image yes you can see multi image is now updated successfully 
So friend, our edit and update portion is successfully completed. I hope it's very much clear to you. See you in our next video. I want to discuss about the delete functionality. For the delete, if you want to use some of the suite alert, how can load some of the suite alert in our next video? I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.